Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to the channel. This is a funny article that I found from CNET. <coughs> Googlers may get new option amid ongoing rancor over bidet removals. Bidet, bidet, bidet. This is from Ahmad Khan, yesterday, March 29th, 2022 at 6.31 p.m. Pacific Time. Googlers upset by the company's decision to remove bidets at California offices may soon have a new option. Tushy, a bidet specialist company, stepped into the streaming pile of controversy on Tuesday, offering an, in an open letter to send Google its travel bidets to help employees wash away those pesky poop particles. <laughs> the portable bidet, which looks like a squeezable water bottle, is handheld. The obvious pre-R stunt comes amid swirling discord at the search giant, which upset its staff by removing bidets, toilet attachments that offer a strategically targeted stream of water to clean behinds from its facilities. Posts to Twitter indicate that removal of the bidets made by Japanese Toto, they also make automatic toilet flushers, began earlier this month. This, that set off an emotional response from Googlers who are returning to the office after two years of pandemic. In a now deleted tweet, Yasmin Evgen, developer relations lead at Google, gets her frustration in a message punctuated with emojis. Technology publication Protocol reported on Thursday that Googlers upset by the removal <coughs> and posted their discontent to an internal mem, mem, memi page at the company. The removal of bidets in the office is my number two issue with RTO. One employee reportedly posted. Disappearing bidets are another item of a growing list of complaints. Employees have law of need at Google leadership. An internal survey showed employees are dissatisfied <coughs> with compensation and the potential for promotion. A recent lawsuit alleges that Google shows bias against black employees, and the company recently settled a separate suit with six employees over workplace activism. Earlier this month, 500 employees had a petition for unjustly retaliating against the product marketing manager for criticizing a contract with the Israeli military. Google did not respond for a request for comment. A maintenance ticket regarding the bidet removal, seen by protocol, indicated a reply from a facilities manager at Cushman and Wakefield, a real estate in state services firm that contracted by Google, the facilities manager reported said removal of the bidets would help Google meet an environmental target that includes switching to recycled water systems, which aren't compatible with bidets. Cushman and Wakefield didn't immediately respond to requests for comment. While Googlers miss, may miss their bidets, research has developed both positive and mixed results about their use. Some research suggests that bidets can lead to components being contaminated with bacteria, raising the risk of cost infection. Antidotal evidence shows that it helps patients with mobility issues such as Parkinson's disease or arthritis. There is no evidence that bidets increase or decrease the risk of urinary tract infections, says Dr. Sham Shukmar, assistant professor of urology at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston. Attachable bidets can be found on Amazon for as little as $29. Google, however, opted for units manufactured by Toto, a company known for luxurious toilets that can cost more than $1,000. They also make automatic toilet flushers. Images posted online suggest Google was using Toto washless C2 seats, which are lifted to fit into an existing commode. The heated seats include a dryer and deodorizer. They retail for $405 on Amazon. Now, Tushy's portable bidet, the elegant laboratory equipment, but the company said it won't throw a wrench in Google's recycled water system as it can use portable water. And Zach Bensing, associate director of product development at Tushy, told CNET in an email that filters can be used to make recycled water all the safer. Based on our experience, filters can be installed with most bidet attachments to prevent damage typically caused by minerals and other deposits found in varying water systems. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how do you like that? That funny little article there by CNET. Okay, 
Well, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you'll laugh and have a good joke out of this. So I thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. And thank you for all my 107 subscribers. And have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye.